Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my, uh, my backyard and our home addition project. Last time we did the, uh, that's called the rough excavation. And we're going to get started into some of the final grading and uh, all of that today. So we're on, this is day four. It is midday Thursday, October 14th. So our first little task today or this afternoon is to do something about this water line which uh, goes out to the well. So it just happens to be right smack dab in the middle of where our footing needs to be. So we are gonna be trying to dig it down a little bit so we can sneak this thing under our footing and not have to splice in some new material. So I'm gonna go grab a shovel and make myself useful now. Hey, you look like you're dropping quite a bit already over there. Right. If you actually come over like there, Shovels. There you go. Here, you the shovel. I don't care. <laughs> Gotta go down a little bit more. A little more? Yep. Celebrate too soon? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> not like that took that long. A little further down, maybe. Yeah. Just to be sure. Yep. So you want to pull back some of this material so yeah, we can get that that's down. That's holding it. Yeah. It's yeah. Holding it up. Okay. Only got a couple scoops out of there. I have to go pull the excavator again. There you go. <laughs> Somebody's got to play excavator. <sighs> Is that okay? Yeah. Or should I go lower? Good? Yeah, you're a foot above it. Okay. Uh, two inches? Yeah, I think we're good. Well, pull down a little bit more, but I want to get actually the footings, start setting the footings themselves. Okay. We'll just leave that for now. There might be some adjustment. Sure. And I, you know, we're, I've been just grabbing numbers and I haven't been like <laughs> as precise as I would like <laughs> yet. Now it's start that time to dial it in. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, we're going to need all of the two by 12s. The lumber, yeah. I'm going to grab those. I don't want to carry him. Uh, Sixteen. The other 16. Um, leave it up here. Let's leave it up here. Yeah. If you want to bring in the 20, one of the 20s, and just leave it up here, and then we'll drag it in that way. Can you uh, 
uh, grab a broom? I'm literally standing in the laser. <laughs> You're helpful. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> so this one's going to come down about two inches. Down? Yep. Into the dirt? Maybe crowned down yep. right now. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. This is got this is the crown side. Okay. Crown up. Not much, but. Yeah. That's good. No, not it's good. A quarter of an inch. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Somebody's good at this. Somebody's good at this. <laughs> I knew somebody is. But... Alright. <laughs> somebody's good at this. Trip. Clunk, <laughs> clunk. Watch me fall. But I won't fix the climate. I'll be right behind you, don't worry. So, is it like a general rule how many stakes to use? Enough to hold it so it doesn't blow out. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's where we're going to do a little backfill. <laughs> Trying to prompt you for good content here. <laughs> well, you'll get good content here. <laughs> but I don't want the camera running. <laughs>
front of the trailer there's a four foot yellow level. I, see, I can see that bolt from here. That's uh, looks good. That's pretty acceptable. <laughs> We're just gonna stop there. We're done. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. No more checking. <laughs> You're the star. Oh, this is terribly interesting. Watch, <laughs> look at the man put a screw in. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back there a little more? Yep. All right, my turn, shovel man. Okay, next thing on the list for me is to cut some dowel pins, which are gonna tie our footings into the uh, existing house. So I gotta get some of this rebar here, it's five eighths. Okay, five of them at uh, two feet long. Careful, it's hot. Too long still? Yeah. What? <laughs> I cut it once, it's still too long. What do you want to take it off it now? Three. More. Another three? Another three. I was guessing. Happy Friday, everybody. Got kind of a different kind of day today. Not super productive in the sense of things happening down here in the hole. But we had our site visit with Chris, the architect, this morning, which is really good. We uh, started talking about some of the more uh, interior design stuff, which is exciting. We're gonna get kind of further along with that shortly. And we also had the sort of uh, new <laughs> thing happen with the uh, to tie into the existing structure. So we found out when we drilled these holes yesterday that this corner is hollow. So the engineer has specified we use these uh, epoxy screens. So this thing gets pumped full of an expanding epoxy and then put into the hole. And then when the piece of rebar goes in, it forces that epoxy through the screen and becomes like a wedge or plug thing behind there since it's hollow. So, uh, how long have you spend looking for these things? Too long. It's one of those days where Donovan drives around looking for stuff and it's probably it's three o'clock. It's three o'clock and, <laughs> and I've been here for six hours. And we've drilled a couple of holes. That's it Two today. holes. Two, Two holes. holes in six hours. <laughs> That's it. a hundred dollars a hole. <laughs> uh, so anyway, once we get these installed, then we can actually start, uh, you know, forming up the rest of our rebar. We're waiting to install these. This one here especially so we can get this form in here and then start tying in all of our rebar. So we got this uh, fancy epoxy gun. Fill that hole up with uh, some nice epoxy and squish it home. So I'm going to go cut seven more pieces of rebar, three for this wall, and then we're going to go ahead and install the tie-ins for the vertical on this side as well. So we got a rebar cutter, and I'm going to go try and use that thing, which is always entertaining to see.
that one <laughs> went smoothly for some reason. Missing, missing, missing. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the camera's right there. No, you never swung a hammer before, so. <laughs> Good tune to this thing. It's, it's got a nice resonance to it. Way up there. Well, we can't. I mean, if you hit yourself on the top one, that's something else is so going we're on. We're jumping out of the hole. <laughs> Safety third. Yeah, you don't have to say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, somebody have a problem with that? Well, I thought we agreed this wasn't a speaking role. Oh. <laughs> well, I got signed up for the wrong freaking job then. Supposed to be the smart, silent type. <laughs> Do you know me? Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm out here just trying to clean up and finish up a few things that Dobbin doesn't really need to be here for and kind of doing the last few things with the excavator before it uh, goes back. So I just uh, took this thing out into the log area and pulled out a tree. Thought to be a pretty quick thing with this excavator to dig that dead tree out. I was kind of thinking I'd be able to like, scoop it right out of the ground, but that tree was a little bigger than this machine could do. <laughs> so uh, I put up a little bit of a fight, so there was a little bit more kind of digging and stuff than, than really was needed, but definitely easier than you know, trying to dig it out by hand. What's kind of fun now is that I have enough time on the machine again to kind of get back to controls 
and it's uh, a lot easier to use now. So with that tree out of the way, the last little excavator thing is going to be to remove this frog pond. It's a pretty cool little pond, uh, but with three kids, they can't leave it alone, so it's, uh, it's coming out. Uh, I already drained it once in the spring, and the water that's in here is from this, the rain over the last uh, few months or whatever. We had a pretty good drought this summer, so it was empty most of the year, but then in the late summer, we started to get some rain again, and it filled up a little more. But uh, this time with the excavator here, I'm just going to pull the water out with the, uh, the excavator bucket instead of using a, uh, a pail, which should make that a little more fun at least. And then I'll start digging it out. This is a solid five-sided concrete box. Uh, I could just bust it up, but I kind of want to pull it out whole for some reason. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to dig around each side, and then we should be able to just pull this thing right up out of the ground. And then once I'm done playing with my pond, I'm going to hop down back into the hole and finish up some of the form work. There's a little bit more to go down there, and anything I can do to kind of speed things along is probably going to be good. Tomorrow, Monday, isn't going to be, it's not going to really be any progress. We have the ICFs being delivered tomorrow, but then that's pretty much it because our pour isn't for Tuesday afternoon, and our footing inspection is Tuesday morning. So it's, it's, it's kind of how these things go, is you get a lot done, and then you're kind of waiting around for things to happen for a few days. So anyway, I'm going to get to work today. This is kind of a leisurely get stuff done by myself kind of day.
Good afternoon, happy Tuesday everyone. Let me catch you up on what's been happening the last couple of days. Nothing super revolutionary or exciting. So Sunday I finished up all the forms. So those are all good to go. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, yesterday. It's one of those days. Yesterday, Monday, we had the delivery of the ICFs. That's pretty much all that happened uh, yesterday. We got, we kind of tweaked a little bit on the forms, but the big thing was the ICF delivery. So Brad brought those over and you know, they're, su they're super light, <laughs> obviously, because they're mostly foam. So it was very easy to get them off his uh, trailer and kind of moved around. Brad spent some time with us, kind of walking us through a lot of the questions we had about the setup of the forms. So that was uh, super nice. That was one of the, the biggest selling points for us was finding a, uh, a form seller that would uh, offer some support <laughs> for someone or a pair of us who haven't really done uh, ICS before. So that was yesterday and we'll talk a little more about the ICS probably later this week as we go to install them. Today, Tuesday, this morning, we made sure everything was level. So we rechecked all of our forms for level, made sure everything was good to go and concrete should be here in about a half an hour. We're doing a uh, late afternoon pour because that's when they had availability. We uh, have a pump truck coming as well because we didn't feel like wheelbarrowing down three yards down this ramp. So we'll see you in a little bit for some concrete. Push a ball out, the rest of the mud, you just want it in that corner there. That's perfect. Not bad, I mean, the handle on that thing is a job. I saw him, yeah. Well, I saw us walking over and the whole hose in Yeah. Oh, yeah.
So I think that's gonna do it for this one that takes care of all the uh, footing work and everything. Tomorrow we'll start stripping the forms and uh, start laying out our walls and stuff. So that should be fun. That'll be in the uh, the next one. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the home edition or anything in the shop or whatever, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.